Scientists use two timescales to measure the age of the Earth. The first is the relative timescale, which is the sequence of layering of rocks and evolution of life. The second is the radiometric timescale. It's based on natural radioactivity of chemical elements in rocks. The Earth is broken up into five units of time. Eons, eras, periods, epochs, and stages. Humans appeared in the Paleogene period, which occurred in the Cenozoic era. Dinosaurs appeared in the Jurassic period during the Mesozoic era. The Earth is divided into three sections, biosphere, hydrosphere, internal structure. The internal structure is also divided into three sections, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust. Continental crust is largely composed of volcanic, sedimentary, and granite type rocks. Oceanic crust covers two-thirds of Earth's surface and is very layered and uniform. More aerobic discontinuity is the boundary between the Earth's crust and the mantle. It serves to separate the oceanic and continental crust from the mantle. The mantle is composed mostly of iron, magnesium, aluminum, and silicon oxygen compounds and makes up most of the Earth's mass. The core is composed mostly of iron and has an outer core that is completely molten while the inner core remains solid. The continental drift theory was theorized by Alfred Wagner and says that all of the present day continents were once part of one super giant continent called Pangaea. Seafloor spreading theory came about by the observation of altern alternating magnetic fields in the rocks on the bottom of the sea. As the oceanic plates diverge, they create rift valleys. After these valleys form, volcanic action created new crust to fill in the rifts. There are three types of boundaries. The transform boundaries have plates slide past each other. Divergent has two plates slide apart from each other while magnet fills in the space in between. And convergent has two plates slide toward one another and form a subduction zone. There are continental oceanic, continental continental, and oceanic oceanic convergent plates. Earthquakes are caused by sudden movement along a fault where stress has built up between two plates. The release of stress causes the ground to roll and shake. P waves are primary waves caused by expansion of rock, and S waves are secondary waves caused by vertical, sh vertical shifts in ground. 95% of volcanoes are found above a subduction zone. There are six major types of volcanoes, fissures, shield, dome, ash cinder, composite, and calderas. They emit large quantities of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Soil is the thin layer that covers a large majority of the Earth's surface. Soil is composed of clay, gravel, loam, sand, and silt. The soil food web is a community of organisms living in soil. The layers of the soil are the O, A, E, B, C, and bedrock. Soil erosion is the movement of weathered rock or soil from one place to another. It is mainly caused by wind, water, and human activities. There is sheet, rill, and gully erosion which are all major types of ero soil erosion. Desertification occurs when the productive potential of arid lands falls by at least 10% due to human activity or climate change. Salinization occurs when water that is not absorbed into soil evaporates, leaving behind salts in the topsoil. Waterlogging occurs when saturation of soil with water resulting in a rise of the water table. The dust bowl was caused by plowing the prairies and resulted in loss of natural plants that kept the soil rooted. Droughts and winds cause the topsoil to blow away. The three main categories of rocks are metamorphic, subjected to extreme heat and pressure, igneous, formed by cooling, and sedimentary, formed by piling of materials over time.